Welcome to part 8 of this video series, How to Use Evernote to Raise Your Grades. In this video, I will be introducing you to the Evernote Web Clipper. The Evernote Web Clipper is an add-on for your Firefox or Google Chrome web browser. Unfortunately, there is not a Web Clipper for the Internet Explorer web browser, but hopefully they will add that in a later addition to their programs. For now, it is just available for Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. So if you run any of those three operating systems, you'll still be in good shape. Just like in the first video, we're going to go to www.evernote.com. And again, we're going to click on Products. But now when you're in the Firefox window, next to get Evernote for Windows, you'll see a link that says Get the Web Clipper. You're going to click on that link this time. And if it works, it will take you to a page that says Add to Firefox. Click on that link. And while it's finishing downloading here, once the add on has been added, it will show up on the right side of your screen. Click Install Now. And then you're going to need to restart your web browser, not your whole computer just the program that you use to surf the web. Alright, here it is. And now you can see, like I said, up here on the right hand side of your screen, there's now a little elephant trunk there. And that is the Evernote Web Clipper. What the Web Clipper enables you to do, and I'm going to go to the Wikipedia page I took the castle information from. What the Evernote Web Clipper enables you to do is clip out a section or an entire article from a note. When I click on it, it highlights, it gives me three options. I can clip the article, which is just the important text and pictures featured in the article. I can clip the full page, which as you can see, the, the highlight is no longer there. It will clip everything that you can see in this article. The third option is just to clip the URL, and it will be highlighted in the main part of your screen. Uh, hopefully you can see that in the video here. And if you do that, then it will be just a note with a URL, a universal resource locator in the note. Uh, the best option that I have come up with is to highlight a certain area that you want. Let's say we wanted this area here. And now it will clip it automatically. You don't even get those three options. But it will take you to the Evernote program and you get to you can title your note, add some tags and it's in the note editor so you can go ahead and edit it to make it look the way you want it to take out words or hyperlinks that you didn't need and really pare this down to exactly what you're looking for in your note let me go ahead and demonstrate again this time let's clip the URL so now here's what it looks like when you clip the URL again it will be a generic title based on the web page you took it from it will clip the source link here which is really great because then you can go back and find your materials anytime you want this works no matter how you use the web clipper it will always grab that source and stick it in your note and then here's the URL that we clipped alright let's go ahead and do a full page clipping this time so we're going to use the same article, but we're going to clip the full page. And again, a little pop-up here to make sure you actually want to clip the full page. There's not many times you want to do this, but for this video, I'm going to show you the example. Working on clipping the full page, it's going to have lots of extraneous pictures and hyperlinks in there. Again, not a recommended way to do it, but if you really want all of the text, that's the best way to go about it. Evernote Web Clipper has clipped this note and as you can see clipping the full page really distorts a lot of the stuff you lose all of the formatting that was in there and it just jumbles it up a lot so I really don't recommend clipping from the full page very frequently there are some sites where it will work but not very often the best way to do it is highlight exactly what you want which again would be one to two if it's really really good points you probably just want to keep it to one click on the web clipper and it will store that note in Evernote this is when it's important to know what your default notebook is because when you click on the web clipper it will store in your default notebook 
that's just the way it works if you want to choose a different notebook then when you create that notebook make that notebook your default notebook for more on that you'll need to go back and watch the video on notebooks and stacks but for now that's it for the web clipper it's a really awesome add-on that works with Firefox, Chrome, and Safari web browsers. Uh, in those other programs it works exactly like it does in Firefox and I recommend that if you don't already have one of those web browsers that you download that and use the Evernote add-on. In the next video I will talk about the Evernote web portal.